Okay, this is a test of these 100 stroke 200 watt PTC eaters off eBay that are about uh, £3.50 or $4 or whatever you want to call them. And well, let's see what they do. Well, the first thing I've done is moved it onto a block of wood. I did think of putting it on the metal strip, but I don't want it to pull the heat out of it. I want to see just what this does on its own. So I'll just shove the wires into the end of a whatever that is. It's as safe as I need it to be. And I'll stand back and watch, and then I'll take the temperature with it with this gun which says 8.2 over there 8 point something over there 6.2 down there that's in modern money none of that colonial measurements that even colonials don't use anymore what I'm going to do is go turn the inverter on because that has a wattage display on the front so we'll see how many watts this 200 watt heater does actually take Okay, now this inverter is a, a soft start inverter, so I'm going to turn it on and then put this plug in which goes to all the other sockets in my van. So I'll let that come up to voltage. There we are, 231's its usual, 232 today. Let's plug this in and then we'll see here what the wattage is. Honest. We'll plug it in and then we'll see what the wattage is. Yeah. Something's gone wrong. Yeah, something had gone wrong. Some idiot had turned it off at the other end. Right, here we go. We should see 200 watts eBay says. 60, 300, 440, 530. Oh, that's, um, that's quite a bit of a jump. And now we're settling down to 115. 92 Oh dear Oh dear indeed these are not well what's going on This is not 200 watts of heat is it Maybe it needs to be bolted to something to pull the heat away from I mean, it what temperature is it at anyway We have a possible surface temperature of oh, 216 degrees, 200, 220, 220. Right then, now, as these get hotter, the wattage they take decreases because its internal resistance comes up because it's a positive temperature coefficient resistive heating element and you don't want to say that after a beer so I'm guessing if we could suck all the heat out of it as fast as possible going by what that meter says this thing would probably do four five hundred watts so if we fasten this to something that can take the heat away like stick a jug of water on it are we going to see increased wattage over at the inverter because theory says that's what should happen so let's get a metal pan of water okay there's a scabby tin that I keep my nuts and bolts in I've sat that on top eh, let's turn it on and see what happens now when I put the the plug back in I'm not expecting the huge jump to 500 watts again but we never know but I'm expecting it should settle at more than the 46 it did before 320 530 and then straight back down and we went to 46 watts before ah. 
I think we're settling at 92. Oh, no, no. You swine. Well, we're staying there. I suppose. No, we're not. I don't know what's going on here. Have we got good connection for the heat? If I press that down a bit, does the wattage go back up? I don't know if you can see all the wattage, but... It's still saying 46. I would have thought I'd have been pulling heat out of it and that would have made it change. But if I'm going to get equivalent heat in a 46 watts out of these, then uh, they're not going to be much use to me at all, are they? Now we're still at 46. In the can we're up to 21. Down here we're not seeing much happening. I don't understand this. I do not understand this at all. I must just not be getting contact to the bottom of my pot. In fact, when I took that off then, and this got hotter and hotter, oh really, it actually dropped down to 20, there, 23 watts. So this is kind of doing its job. I'm obviously, I need to pull the heat out of it more. I can't think of a way. I'll go get some heat sink compound on this. Okay, I've got some heat transfer goop. I think it is. I hope it's not anisole. Well, bang a bit on here. Come on. I'd spread it with my fingers, but we're now at 226. Now that must have better conductivity and if we have the wattage should have gone up. No, no it hasn't. Oh dear. Well, we got to 69. Oh, it's gone back to 46 again. Yeah, maybe these aren't going to work after all. Oh, I've tried adding more goop under it and I've off centered it to one side. Not that I think that makes any difference. I just think it may be, you know, convection of the water. Keep pulling heat out of it if it's more offside. And uh, we are now sat at about a steady 69 watts. So this doesn't go up in single digits, it kind of goes up in, oh, 13s or 12s or something. But it's there, 69 watts. That's most I'm seeing. I guess as I have seen this thing do 500 watts when cold, if I'm only getting 70 watts now, it's because I'm only taking 70 watts of heat out of it. And so it's only having to put 70 watts of electricity back in to maintain a steady temperature. So I need better thermal transfer into my water. Just not sure how I can achieve it.
answers on a postcard and I'll try them. So I don't want to get this working because I don't want to heat this tiny tub here. I've got a bigger one. I'm wanting to heat this one. Inch your beauty.